stupidly epic. <laughs> Hello everybody! It's been a while, isn't it? You know, it's been a long time since I've done like a, a proper YouTube video. I've been uh, I've been over on Twitch doing some streaming lately. Um but this is a massive deal because this is this is it. This is the thing that I've been waiting for for the past twenty plus years in my life. Guys, they finally showed off proper gameplay footage of Final Fantasy VII Remake. Um, I've been waiting on this. If, I mean, if, if you guys have been following anything that we've been doing at all for the past, what, 10, 15 years, uh, I mean, Final Fantasy VII Remake is one of the most desired things. Ever since I've seen that thing that they did on the PS3, they showed the technical demo. The demonstration thing. And uh, that blew me away. And I was like, oh, they have to they have to remake it now, eh? They have to remake it. And they never did. But, guys, they're, they showed it off, right? And I was absolutely blown away. By the way, this footage is mirrored because I don't want to get, like, some sort of copyright notice for footage or whatever like that. I'm, all, I'm also going to have the volume of the the footage like quite low so that like all the music and sounds don't get taken down or whatever. But anyway, guys, I am absolutely ecstatic to the point of tears um, to see that this game is shaping up to be uh, exactly how I've seen it back when I was a kid. <laughs> I was, I was watching this footage and I was thinking, man, this is exactly how I do remember it. You, like, that's stupid because, like, the characters are wee chunky polygonal characters in the original. And everything was all fixed camera, you know, it was like, it was all, like, pre-rendered backgrounds and things like that. But, uh... I, I remember it being just like this. <laughs> I remember it being this intense, this action-packed, this epic, while I was playing it, you know, like, back when I was a kid. Uh, and guys, it, br it brought me to tears to see this, to see how awesome this is. It has blown me away, absolutely, completely blown me away, guys. And I, I want to play it. I really want to play it. <laughs> My health has been failing me recently. My health has not been good. I've gained tons of weight. I'm, uh, I'm, 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 in, I'm in the worst shape that I've ever been in my life, um, and I'm terrified. <laughs> I'm terrified that I'm not going to make it. <laughs> I can't stop thinking that, man, I'm not going to live to play this game, and this is the one thing that I've been waiting for the for the past twenty years. You know, I mean, like Kingdom Hearts three came and went, and it was, you know, I was waiting for that forever, and it was like. It was great, but it wasn't quite what I'd hoped. I loved it. I didn't get me wrong, I, I loved every moment of playing it. It just didn't quite hit that mark though. You know, it, it, it didn't have that same... It didn't live up to the all the years of waiting, you know? But this... Looking at the footage that they've got here... Uh, the extended gameplay that they showed of the Scorpion Guard and all that stuff... When they were fighting the Scorpion Guard, guys, it feel it feels like they've, uh, it feels like they get it, you know. It feels like they understand. It feels like they've put the effort in to make this exactly what fans want, you know. Um, and I mean, you could criticize the battle system; it's a wee bit too hacky, slashy, or whatever like that. But you can tell that they've they've put an awful lot of thought into they want. They want to give the player the choice of being able to pause the action and like be tactical or do you know the Kingdom Hearts style of like having the having the shortcuts on you know for magic and things like that. So I mean you can play it as hacky slashy or as like turn like almost like turn based as you like. But I was watching it and I was like, this is it. This is this is what I want. And uh, the guy, the guy came out and he was like. Yeah, this game's like big. It's it's only going to be the Midgar section, <laughs> but it's probably going to be like two Blu-rays. <laughs> so that blew my mind. Like the Midgar section's like 
the first maybe like four hours of the game on the original 50 to 60 hour campaign of like Final Fantasy 7. But they're spreading the Midgar area out so much. That is, oh my goodness, it just like, it just flipping blew my mind. Uh, so the game comes out on 3rd of March next year, it can come here soon enough. And again, I'm terrified that I'm not going to make it. Just because of how bad my health is right now. But, oh my goodness, guys. I want this so much. I want to see the day that I'm sitting there with that game in my hands. I want to play it. I want to experience it. I've got my PlayStation 4 Pro sitting here. It's ready. It's raring to go. <laughs> uh, but guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, it's just... And I... I've been waiting for this. And... Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm just so, so happy that... Seeing... Uh, they, they, they finally revealed Tifa in that and that. And people were like worried. Like, oh no, like what? Like they've not revealed Tifa yet. Like have they, have they redesigned her? crazy to the point where it's like you know she's like just unrecognizable or whatever but no it's like she looks exactly like Tifa did back in the original game even though Tifa was like a little blocky chibi character in the original game <laughs> but guys yeah that's that, that's it for this video guys I'm sorry like it's been so long for like proper uh, you know like stupidly epic on YouTube like videos and that uh, hopefully I'll be back with some other stuff like proper like maybe reviews or something like that or maybe some more you've got five minutes or whatever I've, I've not done that in a while so I might come back with something like that but yeah uh, guys thank you for watching and of course I'll see you next time bye for now